Hi everyone, it's Misty here from the Joy of Elf. Welcome back to another week of cards. I apologize that this is going up on Tuesday rather than Monday, but I caught a stomach bug. <laughs> and I spent all weekend sick, but I am feeling much better today. And I wanna start showing you some products from the 2018 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog that goes live on the 5th of September. So today I'm gonna to be using the Cauldron Bubble um, bundle along with the Toil and Trouble designer series paper. And then I'm also gonna be using a framelit from the, Bruin, excuse me, the Blended Seasons bundle. This bundle is only available until Friday the 31st of August. So make sure you get yours. Um, I've shown lots of samples using it. I think it's fantastic. It's one of my absolute favorites and I'm really excited um, to have it. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with my card base. I have a piece of gorgeous crepe that measures five and a half by eight and a half. I've scored it at four and a quarter. Don't forget you can get all of the measurements um, in a printed recipe by going to the blog post that is linked down below. If you are on mobile, all you have to do is click the down arrow that is to the right of the title of the video. If you are on desktop, laptop, etc., click the show more button. You will find all my links to social media, the link to the blog post, supplies listed, etc., etc. Basically, everything you need to know about Misty Levine and the Jolly Fat Elf is down below. So I'm just using some Tombow Mono Liquid Glue to get that situated. This is that designer series paper. How cute! And the framelits that coordinate with this. Um, set that are in this bundle actually cut out the images in this paper. I think this frog paper is so cute. If you follow me on my At Home with Misty Instagram, you saw that we had a little baby frog in our pool one day. He was so tiny and little. He was so cute. So this piece of designer series paper measures four by five and a quarter. And this measures two by five and a half because I want it to go all the way across. And again, I'm just using liquid glue. You can use snail, whatever your favorite adhesive is. I know not a lot of people send Halloween cards or celebrate Halloween, but this set is just so cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so let's get to stamping. I'm gonna bring in my stamparatus for this because I wanna stamp everything at one time. I just have a scrap piece of Whisper White. I'm gonna stamp our little witch, the cauldron, and the cat. I'm gonna stamp those in Memento Tuxedo Black because I'm gonna be coloring them with my stamping blends. But like I mentioned, if you wanted to, you could cut out the images um, in the paper. Now the paper is more of a watercolor look. So if that's what you're going for for your card or your project, um, go ahead. I want more of a colored look, like a coloring colored look. You know what I mean. <laughs> watercolor is very distinctive, so you know what I mean. I probably did that cat way too far over. Let me move him. Maybe not, let's see. Oops. Oh no, he's got plenty of room. I'm gonna ink those up again. Just the girl. That's one thing I love about the Stamparatus is that not only does it come with two plates, but all you have to do, you don't have to worry about lining it up, especially I think those of us who've been crafting for a while remember the stamp of a jig. From before. <laughs> so I'm gonna set this off to the side. I'll clean it later. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my markers. I'm gonna be coloring today using Highland Heather and then the basic black. Granny Apple Green, and then probably Mango Melody. That's the Medley Melody Melody. That's right. <laughs> Those are the colors. And then um, we'll see what color I want her hair. Oh, I'm going to start with Ivory for her skin tone. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in a little bit and then I'm gonna fast forward through this um, coloring. go through my big shot I'm just gonna use some washi tape I'm also gonna run the largest label through this scrap piece of gorgeous grape and I'll be right back I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment this is the happy Halloween from that set I'm gonna use memento tuxedo black to bring in some more of this black Use a classic label punch. To punch it out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere our label using dimensionals. These are just some leftovers I had from Paper Pumpkin. Okay, any of the cards that you see in my videos are available for sale. So if you're interested, feel free to email me at thejellyfidelphagmail.com, which you will also find down below, or you can message me on Facebook through my Facebook page, which is also the Jolly Fat Elf. I'm gonna go ahead and pop everything up on dimensionals. These are also from a paper pumpkin kit. Bring in some of the glitter enamel dots. String this up a little bit. 
These are the Gorgeous Grape. And then finally, I can't have magic without a little bit of shimmer. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my Wink of Stella just on the green. To give it a little hit of shimmer. So that's it for today's card, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget that the Blended Seasons Bundle is only available until the 31st. For those of you who purchased the class, thank you so much. I will have your materials out to you in the mail by this coming Friday. All the supplies will be linked down below. Of course, with the coordinating blog post, the supplies that are in the holiday catalog do not go live until September 5th, but the Big Shot, etc., those will be linked and are available to purchase. Again, you can find links to social media, etc. down below. I will see you tomorrow for another card. Bye for now.